Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Ian Fender video and today I am going to be presenting the entire blue line to you guys within this video. So before we get into that for the blue line I do want to show you guys this cool new station called Canon View on the green line. I uh, just recently just finished this about a day or two ago actually just yesterday. I uh, just want to show you guys around real quickly as this is my favorite station actually as a matter of fact because of how big it is and how beautiful I find it to be so uh, without further ado let's get started so here we have the entrance as you guys can see so this is the can of station like I mentioned this is what it kind of looks like as you can take a look when you go inside here you curve trains you can go upside here like that just run this I'm gonna add some lighting here but uh, go down here and this is what it kind of looks like so this station is looks a little bit like Talmadge Hill uh, if you guys want to say something like that or that's fine um, this is what it looks like courts so this is the first station that actually has an entire yard for the green line so any trains that you know are here to terminate which is fine they'll quote-unquote go into track 3 which is right here uh, we're not going to be having any trains here, so I'm not going to be making any scripts at all to control that track switch. Uh, you will always be on this track and this track going the opposite direction. Trains come in from here and then just keep on going to Newkirk. You know, clearly on this side going to Mount River, Denville, which is cool. So that's just pretty much for the station. I just wanted to show you guys that is, it's, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful. So let's do this. So that, that's kind of how it works out. So real quick, let me just teleport myself to the, uh, actually, you know what? Here, let me just do this instead. Uh, okay, so this is, that was the Green Line Station. So as we get over to the Blue Line, what I wanted to tell you guys is that I have officially completed the entire blue line. So that is one line out of three completely finished. It's in a very exciting moment for me. I just finished it just last uh, Sunday, which I feel very proud of myself because it did take for a, did take a very long time. Okay, so we made it, which is nice. So first stop I want to show you guys is Perry Road Birch Spot. So, Perry Road is after North Oakville, which I already showed you guys. You guys already know about the uh, second preview. So, this is a, so the blue line is kind of like a suburban line. It is meant for, um, sorry, it is, it is meant for suburban trains. Two car trains, very tiny. So, kind of just regional, you know, nothing here, just kind of cross. All right, next station, we have the Yon, the Yon Station. Um, I would call this more of like a wooden hut type station. Uh, as the you know, as the stations go on, the quality of the stations get a little bit less because it's more suburban. Not not much money spent on it. Let's just say, quote unquote, not much money spent on it. So this is about a 600 block distance. Here it is. Skinny platforms supposed to be kind of just simple. Uh, it's extremely skinny. <laughs> And then here, you know, wooden type of station, signs of course. Kind of go through here like this. So that's the Dion station. Alright, next station we have is Wood by Hike. This is probably one of my most favorite stations I have here on this system. Because it is a station that, there's two stations in the entire system that is literally 40 blocks long. It requires... The driver to be very precise on how they stop so if you see these red pillars this basically means that you need to stop specifically right here so for example if you had to pull in the train your front of the train needs to be per almost perfectly aligned therefore you can get all the doors to fit clearly this station is very very small because of the distance uh, like I said this is a wood by hike station I will be presenting the map on my Discord server, so join join my Discord server, and if you ask, I'm going to put the map up on the announcements. 
on the entirety of the map. I made it myself. It looks uh, like a New York City subway map, which you know I always have the thought of making. So that is Wood by Hag Station. This construction area is just tab area. This is just for fun. This is gonna get removed once uh, the update, once the uh, entire finalization is completely done. Uh, this station is Wet Fire Station. I really stupid name, but I I kind of like it. It's, uh, it's modern. It's modern. Yes, yes. I like the uh, the roofing and stuff like that is, you know, nice and tall. I do have to say one thing though is that this station is a limited service stop, so I did was able to make routes for this uh, line like a local and then a skip stop. Uh, the local is the only one that stops here, while the skip stop. You know, clearly skips the stop. Despite it being very beautiful, this station is not used as much. Alright guys, so this is the part that I have been waiting for and have been working on for over three and a half months. Why three and a half months? Because I got busy with school and I had to really put my effort into, into scripting. So this is a one track system, a project, sorry. One track station. So basically... I'm having to script a one track station. What I'm trying to say here is that two trains, both directions on one track, and they go back. It's very complex. Uh, when the map comes out, I just want to show you guys where the entrance is. It's the only entrance to where all the entire command center is. It is uh, right down here. Simply come behind this one tree right here, and right about here. So this is entirely made by me. Here is all the command blocks. It is a crazy amount. And you even got the next part over here. Next one is all the way back here. And then you got the last one. So once you guys get the map out, or actually in the next in a future video, I am gonna do the entire bullet route, just driving no commentary. You don't have to worry about that. You're just gonna hear the sounds of the train and stuff like that. Um, there you're gonna in that video you're gonna see how the system actually works I'm not gonna detail it like oh this command is does, does that this and that blah 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 whatever I'm just gonna be doing the commentary I'm not gonna do uh, sorry no commentary just driving and you guys be able to see how it kind of works so after the station the next stop is Ridge of June kind of like wood by hike Ridge of June they all have dashes in them uh, another tiny stop this was a really rare one. This is actually a pretty cool one, new design concept. You actually have to technically cross just to get to the other side, and you can park your vehicle over here, you know, accessibility area. So that's the kind of a, a rare part. And last but not least, to finalize the entire blue line, we have East Heights Station. So we are going to, I have created the first entire building for the East Heights Station, which is exciting, like actual man-made building, whatever. <laughs> Here it is. Here you guys can get a little bit of an inside. This is where the trains actually spawn in. You know, you arrive here. These train, uh, this track is not used. This is used for a sighting. I built this, you know, just last Sunday. But say in the past, about four months ago, you know, quote on, you know, this is just past, past. Um, this was when the grand opening of East Heights happened. This track was used a lot, a ton. Yes, but not anymore because we needed a sighting. So. Um, this is what the East Heights station looks like. So here it's just kind of a preview. This you can get, you know, your train and stuff. So this building here is the is just a, a two part building. Here is just a bank, you know, just for fun, whatever. Ooh, that glass should not be looking. Oh, sorry, my apologies. I thought I thought that glass glitched. Um, this is just some simple some simple bank. Now this this is the Bow Rail Command Center. The actual headquarters is going to be located in Alpine Gardens, or I'm depending it may be part of Newkirk. I'm most likely going to do it in Newkirk because Newkirk is actually a city, and Alpine Gardens is, but it's a smaller one. Um, this is the command center. This is where all the magic happens on, you know, where the trains are controlled. My man Jake, how you doing? How you doing? Um, I'm going to be creating a command blocked elevator here soon, surely. So, uh, oops, sorry. Okay, so, you know, just seating here, this is where the kind of the thing is. If you guys take a look at this, this is kind of the preview of what, you know, the line system looks like. It's just a zoomed in type one, you know, you got the station, 
Oakville downtown, North Oakville, Perry Road, etc., whatever. So that's kind of cool. Up here is where the manager kind of sits. Gets to get a nice view of what it is, speak to his colleagues. Here is not the entire boss's room. There's going to also be office space here, but that's kind of where the boss is going to be too. So that's that's just something I did wanted to show to you guys as a you know cool thing. I'm going to fix that later. All right, but otherwise, guys, that is just pretty much it of the video, honestly, that I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on in the past. I do apologize for not posting earlier because my recording uh, software thing was being crappy and it was not working at all, which is very fortunate. But don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys want to be a part of this project, please go down to the description and join my Discord server. Please send me a, a DM and say, here is my username. This is what the skills I got. Here are some photos of stuff that I built. I want to be a part of this project. I want to build the line. I want to build a station. DM me. I'll friend you and we can do a, as a project. I just have to tell you my times and stuff like that. But we'll get all of that on DMs. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe to the video. And don't forget to join my Discord server if you got any questions. So that is the entire blue line and a little bit of section of the green line. See you guys.